The way an instrument is held influences how efficiently the instrument can be used. Selecting the correct grasp allows the operator control of the instrument and greater tactile sensitivity and reduces fatigue on the operator's fingers and hand. The way an instrument is grasped also dis dictates how it is exchanged. Several different instrument grasps are commonly used in operative dentistry. Pen, modified pen, palm, palm thumb, and reverse palm thumb. First, we're gonna start off with the pen grasp. As the name indicates, it is when an instrument is grasped in the same manner as a pen or pencil. I'll demonstrate. So just as if you were writing your name, this is how you would hold the instrument. The modified pen grasp is similar to the pen grasp. The instrument is held with the same finger as the pen grasp, except the pad of the middle finger is placed on top of the instrument with the index finger, like so. So pen grasp, modified pen grasp. For the palm thumb grasp, excuse me, for the palm grasp, the operator holds the instrument in the palm of the hand and fingers grasp the handle of the instrument. It is used with surgical pliers, rubber dam forceps, and other forceps. In some procedures, the palm is up when the operator is working on the maxillary teeth and the working end of the instrument is pointed down. The palm is down when the working when working on the lower teeth and the working end of the instrument is pointed upward. So palm, that way you're able to engage the forcep. Next we have the palm thumb grasp. The operator will grasp the handle of the instrument in the palm of the hand with four fingers wrapped around the handle while the thumb is extended upward from the palm. The palm thumb grasp is used when the instrument's having straight shanks and blades, such as a straight chisel or a Wedlestat chisel, which you'll see here. Here's a Wedlestat chisel, and I'm going to grasp it with a palm thumb. Then we have the reverse palm thumb. Um, it is usually used when using um, an HVE. Um, and obviously it'll be put in the suction, but I only have the actual tip with me right now. So basically you would hold it in the same manner as a palm thumb, but you would reverse it and your thumb would be to pointed towards your nose. Okay, you would hold it like this to keep steady. You could also hold your suction in a pen grasp. So depending on what area of the mouth you are trying to reach, you could either use a pen grasp or a reverse thumb. You could probably use a palm thumb grasp as well, but you could use a reverse palm thumb and a pen.